A family went on a trip to Orange Beach from Louisiana. It turned out to be a really tragic week for the family when two teenage brothers drowned at the beach near Perdido Pass. The brothers' names were Josh Spencer, age 12, and Stuart Spencer III, age 19. As family announced to Fox 10 News, their bodies were discovered Saturday morning. As heard from local news supporters, Stuart died trying to save his little brother. The search began at 7 p.m. after the two teens went under the water and the search was soon suspended at 12.30 a.m. on Saturday. The AL.com website states that Brown said there was a red flag warning on the beach Friday and there was a high risk of rip, rip currents. Whether it's green or red or any color in between, you have to be cautious when you enter the Gulf, Brown said, also coming from AL.com news website. The green flag is the warning for low hazard, calm conditions and to exercise caution. The yellow flag is the warning for medium hazard and moderate currents. Red warning flag is when the area is at a really high risk chance of being hazardous and the currents are very strong and waves are very high. Police say the body of the 12-year-old boy was found around 6.30 Saturday morning. Around 7.45 a.m., the body of his older brother was found. In order to escape this terrible incident ever happening to you, how to identify the riptide, and if so, trapped in one, don't panic. Stay calm and wave your arms in the air and call for help to get the lifeguard's attention. If you are a great swimmer, try swimming parallel to shore to escape the current. If you don't know what a rip tide is, it also can be called a rip current. A rip current is a narrow, fast-moving channel of water that starts near the beach and extends offshore through the line of breaking waves. Dr. Greg Dusick explains, never panic in a situation like this or it would lead to a terrible end. I'm Roy. And I'm Melissa. Back, Back to, to you, anchors. anchors.